So where have we come to today, Sue? Hearn Bay, Recover Country Park car park. Um, we're in a motorhome bay. Yep. £2 an hour or £10 for 24 hours. Okay. And we're going to go and have a look at some ruins. Yeah, nice to see the motorhome parking. Mm. Um, and there's nobody here other than us. No. <laughs> it does look a bit odd, doesn't it? It's just one mm. motorhome in the bays, but it's £2 an hour, so a little bit pricey, I yeah. suppose, but um, really good um, uh, car park, and uh, I'll show you that now. We're going to go for a walk, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Got your thick park, Ron? Right? Yes. Ah, come on in. Well, there's a little smurf, and uh, it's taken me three takes to, to do this little bit of filming. I'm using the new Sony ZV-1. Um, so if you notice any difference, uh, do let us know. It's uh, going to take a little bit of getting used to. The Canon was my baby, and I did uh, use the Canon almost into destruction. But, uh, here's the uh, motorhome bays, motor caravans only look all the way down and then cars down the other end and uh, there's hardly anybody here but there's a cold northerly breeze this morning so we're gonna go explore this little bit of country park gonna follow the footpath a little bit about the country park. And there's a map. You are here. Let's go and catch up with Sue. She's just gone through here. There's another car another park round here. There, ah. There's another car park round here. Oh yes, there is. Yeah, so there's plenty of uh, facilities. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gents, toilets just on my right here. And a uh, picnic area in front of us. And then uh, children's playground. Very nice. I think just over the hump there is the sea. But we've come to see the uh, ruins and uh, we'll wander up the hill and give you a glimpse of that. Well, I just noted the other car park has a height barrier so we wouldn't have got in here anyway. Um, a little bit closer to the uh, place we're going to. Lovely pub here. King Ethelbert Inn. And it's right near the little monument block. Looks like the pub's got outdoor seating as well, so it's Covid friendly. Let's go up the hill and see if we can see what's going on up here. It's an English heritage site. Climbing the hill here, getting quite close to the ruin with the uh, rectangular towers. Nice easy path to walk. The wind's on our backs now, and if I turn, you'll see the sea. And then we're on the north coast of Kent, and. Uh, you can jolly well tell us a northerly wind, don't tell you. Um, pretty countryside though. This is where the fort would have been. Just here. On this green area. Oh, 
There's a little bit more sheltered around here. Oh. Well, look at that. Love the old stonework, don't you, Sue? Mm. What does it say on here? It says, these towers, the remains of the once venerable church of the Culvers, were purchased of the parish by the Corporation of Trinity House of Deptford Strand yeah. in the year 1810. Wow. And groins laid down at their expense to protect the cliff on which the church had stood. When the ancient spires were afterwards blown down, the present substitutes were erected to render the towers still sufficiently yeah, conspicuous to be useful to navigation. Captain Joseph Cotton, Deputy Master, in the year 1819. Wow. Well, got a bit of history there then. There's not a lot left of it. What is left is looking gorgeous. Yeah. Yes, it's still quite chilly standing under this wall. Um, <laughs> we must be mad. <laughs> oh, it's such a spectacular view. I'm going to go just towards the edge of the cliff here. Um, I don't think it's dangerous. There's no signs up or anything. But uh, there we are. Anyway, we can see once you're out of the wind, as Sue says, it's not quite so cold, but by golly. Yeah, just take a walk down there, shall we? Yeah. We'll come back to the. Uh, well, we'll come back this way via the ruin. See where the old walls were, look. Oh, by the way, Sue's got her fancy boots on. Have you noticed them? <laughs> hey, look at them. Are well, they good, aren't they, babe? They are. And they're fair lined. So who bought them for you? A kind man. A kind man? <laughs> Early Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, I think it was for our anniversary, <laughs> wasn't it? To, changed for anniversary present. Yeah, 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 I did buy them for you for Christmas, but I couldn't wait. You got a camera, but you've got them in your hand. I've got the camera, I've got them in my hand, yeah. Yeah, look. That's what it looked like originally. Mm, I love coming to these old places. This, as I say, is an English heritage site. It's open all day. Uh, there's no... You know, anybody can come for free um, to have a look at this room. We're English heritage members, which we, we pay about £10 a month to be members. Um, and it does get you the free car parking when you're in an English heritage car park. There isn't one here, but uh, it also gives you free entry to the places that you would have had to pay for. Way over in the distance there's a wind farm, I notice. But this is what we come to see here. Look at that. Lovely. It's got peacefulness about it. Looks like there's a little graveyard through here. Let's go and pick up the footpath and uh, we'll walk along there and see how, uh, how far we get. Wind again there, and uh, graveyard I mentioned. Gravestones here, right by the footpath. Let's pick up this footpath now, and uh, if we see anything of interest, we'll switch the camera straight back on. The wind is blowing hard. I hope you can hear me. Interesting. 
and here's a part of the Roman fort wall. Look at that. Still part of it intact along this footpath. And judging by the sign here, uh, to the right it's the Roman fort wall which you've just seen a glimpse of. And then to the left, uh, East Gate. Let's go uh, down here towards the sea and see what we find. There's dog bins along here which is handy. You always need a dog bin when you've got two dogs. More signs. A little beach down here. Not much of a beach, but the uh, tide is out a little bit. There's a couple of people down there with a the dog. So just commented that this is a lovely place if you're uh, wanting to cycle or if you're a wheelchair user even. Uh, might be a bit chilly for you this time of year but certainly in the summer months. Great place to park up and come for an afternoon stroll or you know, with your wheelchair. Electric or not I guess. Looks like there's some uh, little bit of industrial going on over here. And the beach on the other side. Well, we got back from a walk, didn't we? Yeah. And there's another motorhome behind us now. The dogs are pleased to get in the walk. The dogs, yeah, dogs are in the warm, and we're going to go for a coffee. Thanks. Fig tree. There's a fig tree. Let's go around the other side and get in the warm. It's blowing a hooli here. Well, even though we could have um, had our coffee in the van, it's nice to support the local businesses. A treat. And uh, so we've come in the little cafe. What you got, Sue? Dark hot chocolate with cream and marshmallows and a pumpkin loaf. Okay. Yours is very low gluten. Well, yeah, brownie. it's very low gluten and it's a caramel brownie and uh, my green tea. And we've got a little view, look, from the window. And uh, if you come in here, you do get a chance to recharge your phone and relax. And why not? Well, after some little bit of debate about stopping at Margate, mm -hmm. and... Uh, we went in a car park. Yeah. And that takes photos of you as you go in and out, and we didn't pay anything. So I said we should put some <laughs> money in, otherwise we're going to get a bill now. Mm, £100. 